there's writing the project and then there's drawing the project and mm -hmm. you know a lot of the lion's share of a project will be with the illustrator because mm -hmm. they're they're not just drawing something and filling in a panel like they're basically working as casting and art and uh as like a film photographer yeah so you're figuring out the particular angles for yeah. a shot mm -hmm. um, where everyone's gonna go um, you're pulling this all from a script and you're doing it all by yourself, so it's yeah. a lot of work on your end. But that's part of the thrill of it too. I, I like that responsibility to have some, to have so much say in like how the book looks. I, I usually read through the script all, all the way through once and then read it through again and, and start doing the layouts. But if I start doing the script and I start doodling immediately going like, oh my gosh, he has that thing. That's a good sign. You know, I'm excited to start doing it. I, like, I really have a vision in my head of like what I think needs to, needs to happen. I have my own spreadsheet about like what's done, what needs to be done, and like what pages take more than one day to do because I literally have to plan my life around that. So I'll ask Patrick, how many weeks per issue do you need for this? How many weeks per issue do you need for pencils? How many weeks do yeah. you need for inks? Uh, same with the color, same with the letter. And then I'll create a schedule with our scheduling team here to run by Patrick and the writer and say, all right, well, these are the dates. Do you think you're going to be able to hit them? Yeah. In that schedule, I'll also give myself a little wiggle room for buffer, uh, just so I have the time I need to go through everything uh, once it moves in-house and our entire company will as well, because you know production needs to go through it, design needs to go through it, and we're not just working on this one book, we're working on over a hundred different books at a time. Yeah. So um, it's a lot to pay attention to, it's a lot to juggle, but it's a lot of fun. Layouts is probably the most important stage to give notes because that's when you see everything at its bare form before it starts to become more final. It's also the stage where you can change, make the you most can, changes. You can make yeah. dramatic changes, but as you're progressively going through the stages of a comic book from layouts to pencils to inks to colors to letters, it starts to become more final and once you hit inks and colors, you really don't want to make too many big mm -hmm. storytelling changes at that point. Our production department will send down what's called a yellow slip, which is uh, the lettered color stage, and then I'll go through it with my assistant, make some notes on it. I'll send it back to the artist mm -hmm. and to the writer um, to take another look at it, to see if they have anything else they may be thinking of. I mean, at this stage, you're working on the next issue, Yeah. but I still kind of like you to look at it, just to see mm -hmm. if there's anything else that you want done to it before it gets printed. Because it's not just about my opinion, it's also about your opinion. Yeah. It's also uh, important to me to know about the writer's opinion. And also to know what our publisher thinks about it. So this is the stage where I can make anything else final I want to do to the, mm -hmm. the story or the art uh, before we send it off. This is a big tree of different people working on one book. The, the cool thing about comics is I think it's, it's collaborative and things can evolve. And that's part of sort of the thrill of it. I like to think about it as like um, like a jazz quartet. A lot of that is about listening and like letting the other the, the saxophonist go on for a solo, and then knowing when to back off and let the bassist go, and then knowing when to back off and let the drummer have the thing. And then when they come back together, it becomes like this collaboration of a thing that uh, is different from when it started, but it's still hopefully compelling and beautiful. Yeah, I think it's yeah. always healthy to give mm -hmm. each party to a project some breathing room. Yes, mm -hmm. and then my job is just make sure it's accurate. I like to think about the editor as like um, the person who's responsible for putting out the best comic that we can. You're making something together as a whole and it's a lot different than what you have in mind individually. I think the best moment each time is when the book finally arrives from the printer. It's the product of all of this work done together and there it is. And it seems so simple and innocuous when you see the little pamphlet, but it's still a real good feeling that I haven't lost. Um, so that really, to me, is really the best part about this whole thing. Thank you.